Hall takes on ninth ranked Gonzaga. Well, the winner will advance to tomorrow night's championship game of the 22nd annual EA Sports Maui Invitational to meet the winner of the game. Still to come here tonight between Arizona and Connecticut. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Sean McDonough with Jay Billis and Bill Raftery. Delighted to have you with us for the third meeting ever between Michigan State and Gonzaga. Gonzaga victory yesterday over Maryland to get to the semifinals. They won 88-76 to over the Terrapins and looked good while doing it. I thought they looked like the most together team. They mm -hmm. shot 76% in the second half against Maryland. They forced 23 Maryland turnovers, and they've got an absolute star on the floor in Adam Morrison. They had three players score over 20 points in the win over Maryland. Meanwhile, Michigan State struggled for a half against Chaminade, pulled away in the second half, 177-62. to 62. Bill, what's their key today? Well, for Tom, it was cloudy in Hawaii initially, but uh, no more allergic reaction. They've got to get back and be sound on the defensive end. Don't give up those easy opening shots. Some of the best teams in the country, some of the best players in the country as we look at Star Watch, brought to you by eBay. Maurice Ager, an outstanding athlete, terrific shooter, went four of five from three against Chaminade. He's got to shoot it well again today. And Jay Adam Morrison, imaginative, creative, great shot selection, good around the rim, good medium game, and can nail the deep one. For Michigan State, Drew Neitzel, the point guard with Ager, Shannon Brown, Drew Namick, and Paul Davis, and for Gonzaga, the outstanding point guard, Derek Ribio, with Pierre-Marie Altador Cespedes, Adam Morrison, Sean Mallon, and J.P. Batista. Gonzaga is 2-0. They beat Idaho at home in Spokane before coming out here to Maui. Michigan State 1-1. One one. They played in Honolulu on Friday and lost to the Rainbows at the University of Hawaii. And the trip, the tip controlled by J.P. Batista for Gonzaga dressed in white. And Sean, J. Michigan State goes. Man to man. Maurice Sager guarding Adam Morrison. Batiste off to a great start this season, but not in this game as he gets called for a foul, trying to clear out some space inside. And, Sean, it was interesting that Tom talking about Namick being not as physical as they would like because of the shoulder injury. Tom Izzo feeling that's a key, playing Baptiste tough down in the box. And Gonzaga starting out in man-to-man. -man. They played a 2-3 zone against Maryland. They'll have to play some zone today because Michigan State runs so many sets. Paul Davis the miss and Batista the rebound. Batista scored more than 20 points in each of their two games so far this year. Mallon a tough runner over Davis. Mallon got his own rebound. Rivio, an excellent shooter, and he rattles one in for the first bucket of the ball game. Quick he, feet. He's unorthodox quick. That's why he's hard to guard, in my opinion. He's a really good player. Good ball movement, and it's Ager for two out of the corner. Maurice Ager, senior from Detroit. Tom Izzo says he might be the best two guard that they've had at Michigan State during his tenure, and perhaps back even longer than that. They've had some outstanding players at that position. Well, you're th thinking of Rashford, I guess, and Steve Smith. Uh, the difficulty, I think, for Ager the first day, a little bit of a struggle, one of the great wing performers. Mark Few in his seventh season as head coach at Gonzaga, winning as coach in the country right now by percentage at 81.3%. Been in the NCAA tournament all seven years with the Zags and should be again this year. Davis setting the little screen and then immediately ducking in and getting into Mallon. Mallon was on the high side, but you have got to keep him, Davis, from getting into you physically because he'll just seal you off inside. Mallon called for the foul, his first, 2-2 two -two the score. Paul Davis, the senior, short with the shot. And a foul on the rebounding action against Maurice Ager. I like to see Davis looking for a shot, though. I think he can contribute facing the basket in low. Worked very hard offseason, I think. No, he's one of the most improved big guys over the course of his career in the country, and he's turned into a star. One of the things you don't want to see from Davis when he puts the ball on the floor, you don't want to see him fade away from the basket, go into the contest. Adam Morrison. Nice cut. He got it back from Batista and then gets stripped by Shannon Brown on the way up. 
Brown runs out with Neitzel, who lays it in. Boy, that was a great pass by Shannon Brown. He made the defense commit and then dumped it off to Neitzel. Outstanding. Now, all these teams have improved in a couple of days. They were messing up fast breaks earlier. Very sound look. And a three for Morrison. Good ball movement. And Eager trying to answer with a three. And the rebound down to Mallon, the junior from Spokane, Washington. Whoops. That looked like a travel. Yeah, sure was. Follow the rebounding action. Donnie Gray, Mike Stewart, Mike Pitts well, are the officials. And, and so one of the great things about Morrison is his ability to extricate himself from traffic. Knows how to discard people, set them up, and he's got such a great stroke. And we saw yesterday his elevation. He can plumb bob on guards. Yeah, he's a good, good athlete. What he does, he goes slow to fast. That makes him really hard to guard. And I think he has got a shampoo commercial in his future sometime. <laughs> I hope so. I'll share my shampoo commercial with you <laughs> if you'd like. You can, you can share your hair dryer, too. Morrison, Ooh. another three that really wasn't a big part of his game last year, nor was it yesterday. Tom Izzo said eight of his ten field goals for Morrison as they watched the tape were within a foot or two of the basket, like that one, which will count on a goal ten against Shannon Brown. I would have liked to have seen him give it up, though. Altador Cespedes ahead, but once he did not, he did the right thing, taking it strong to the rim. Tom Izzo not really agreeing with that call, and that ball was going up. That's up a good block. Yeah. You just think so? I thought it was over the cylinder. If the it rim. was over the cylinder, then it's a great call, but That's that was not up. coming down, I'll tell you that. No, I meant straight up okay. over the cone once it's there. You would expect a high scoring game. These two teams were both in the top 13 in the nation. In Scoring offense last year, both at more than 78 points per game. It's in the top 13 out of 326 Division I schools. And here's that 2 3 zone you alluded to, Jay. You've got to be active and attack the shooters. Brown on the wing and Ager, of course. Name it, the follow. Rearrangement. Well, that's the hard part. When you go after a shot block and don't get it, you are leaving the offensive glass wide open. Namick took advantage of it. First bucket for Namick, who's off to a slow start this year as he recovers from shoulder surgery in the offseason. Really couldn't do anything for about four and a half months. And Tom Izzo told us before the game he's still working to get his strength back. Here's Davis <gasps> down the lane for the dunk. Well, how, how about Ager not panicking inside when he got stopped? And running the floor, the bigs, so essential. They're getting down the floor, getting the puppies down. If Namick gets in a wrestling match with J.P. Batista, Batista's going to win that one. Got to play him smart. Namick just picked up his second foul. Timeout. Great action early in Gonzaga to a two-point lead. Great athletes in this game. It's hard to find two wings more athletic than Shannon Brown and Maurice Ager. A 2-3 look right now. They do a nice job going opposite from the box. There's Batista. Jeremy Pargo has come in for Gonzaga at guard number two. And Drew Namick is out with two fouls for Michigan State. Oran Sutton is in for him. Shannon Brown out of the corner for his first three points of the ball game. Now I, I go back into Batista again and see if Michigan State can stop him. Even when you are behind him and you think you have him stopped, he dislodges you. Now that's a foul, that should have been called. Well, there is a foul, they'll count the basket for J.P. Batista. And then they're going the other way, the foul is on Gonzaga. You've really got to hold your ground against Batista. Now, it, that may have been a little bit of a flop, but Batista really backs you up. He likes to back into you. It's almost a pro-style move. Now, the points of emphasis in the post say that's a foul. He's strong. He may have gotten away with a little bit, but a flop as well. The one thing Mark Few was concerned about were the wing people getting down the floor. Shannon Brown, that last trip for Michigan State, able to knock it down. They really stretched the D like this. Well, they just about had the slip inside to Davis. That's a good little set there. Shannon Brown has a three spin out. The last foul for Gonzaga after the Batista bucket was on David Pendergraft, who has just checked in for the Zags, wearing number 25. Morrison couldn't handle the pass. Brown and Ager. Oh! Is that unselfish 
and attractive. Well, you know what's great? In a two-on-one, they get to the rim. That ball never hit the floor. That was absolutely beautiful. All five players who started the game have scored for Michigan State. High low into Batista. A nice job with the dump down. They've just got to face the ball. And, of course, the pressure on the ball essential as well. Six points now for Batista, senior from Brazil in his second year at Gonzaga. Attended a couple of junior colleges before he went to Gonzaga. He was the West Coast Conference Newcomer of the Year last year. Long rebound out to Jeremy Pargo. Freshman off to Morrison. And look at Morrison run the floor. He started sprinting in anticipation before the ball was retrieved by Pargo. Well, he can smell the points. Oh, he the can. Other end. Mark him down.